a developing story. Now, Donald Trump is coming to L.A. today, and an immigrants' rights group is gearing up for a noisy protest. They're upset about comments he made during his presidential campaign announcement. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live from the Lux Hotel with all the details. Good morning, Cara. Good morning. Donald Trump is slated to speak with Hollywood conservatives here at the Lux Hotel behind us tonight. And already both his supporters and critics are getting ready for him. Protesters say they'll rally out front of the hotel raising voices and something else. Take a look at these Donald Trump pinatas. Immigrant right protesters have been collecting them this week at the offices where the rally was planned. This will mark Trump's first visit to the Southland since he officially entered the race for the Republican nomination last month. Now, at the time, he did talk about curtailing immigration at the southern border, and he criticized Mexican immigrants for, in his words, bringing crime and being rapists. Trump said that when Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. Since then, backlash has grown. Several major corporations have distanced themselves from Trump's business interests, and a group of state lawmakers is back to dump the Trump resolution, which calls on California to divest from his enterprises. Here's what some protesters say they've planned for tonight. We plan to um, give Donald Trump a welcome here in L.A., an unpleasant welcome, and we have piñatas that represent um, him. We plan to fill them up with trash, that's right, because that's, that's all that seems to come out of his mouth lately. It's trash. Now, also out here this morning, some apparent support for Trump. A group called unseveryagents.com put up these large posters around the bus stop. They claim to be creative rebels for the right. Last weekend, Trump himself did address all the reactions to his comments. He says it's been more severe than he expected, but added he's raising what he thinks are important concerns. Reporting live here from Brentwood, Cara Finstrom, CBS 2 News.